Greetings, salutations, YouTube. It's Hayden here. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to a new video. Today, we're at the Goodwill, and I'm super duper excited to go inside because I've never been into this particular store. And if you guys love thrifting and thrift hauls and hand their rehabs and vlogs, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell for notifications for when the videos do go up. And if you guys would like to have it on already, don't forget to add me on Instagram and Facebook. It's Hayden, just like it's spelled here. And check out my shop at itshayden.com to see what I have for sale from my thrifting adventures. But without further ado, let's go into the store. I'm super excited. This one's a new one, and I've never been inside, so. So ready to explore. All right, I'm just getting my bearings. Gonna look at the handbags first. All right, you guys, first bag found is a lamb. This looks like it's, oh, it just needs a little sewing up, but still cute. Oh, there's the price tag. It's $10. See what else they have here. Oh, is this like a Nightmare Before Christmas bag? It is. My sister might actually like this. She loves Nightmare Before Christmas and so does Eliza. All right, just going through. This is a fake little Birkin. Why is it kind of cute? Because of the patches. Aldo, $11.99. What do you guys think? Oh, what is this. this is so exciting you guys I love new stores what a pleasant surprise Miss Claiborne ooh a Baki ooh $15 gorgeous I think this might be a yes too Let's see what else we can find here Alright, there's this like fake Dior bag. I think it's fake at least. That's $19.99. Yeah, it's definitely fake. The stamping is horrible. The lining is, feels weird. $20 is probably too expensive, so. You guys, I found one of these, my other bag, tote bags. Totally have to get this. This one's super cute. I just bought this fake coach. Um, like I said in other videos, when the lining has CCs on them, just like the exterior, it's fake. They never double up the CCs. Oh, there seems to be a fake Prada back here, too. Yeah. yeah, totally fake. The stamping is awful. You guys, the haunted doll section is real here. They're still in boxes. Let's check out the toys. Oh, it's the snow monster guy. $2.99. All right. Looking through the dinnerware. Target home. It's kind of cold, you guys. I wish I brought my jacket is inside the car. It's freezing inside of here. Oh, these are so cute. It's actually a really nice store. It's nice and stocked up with a lot of things. You guys, I found a second one. Now I've got two. That's exciting. What is this? OGGI. They're playing Michael Jackson right now. I love it. Wow. This big duck basket oh my gosh you guys I got some amazing stuff and I can use these bags to carry all my stuff all right now let's go home and I'll show you guys hey guys okay so we are back at the house and I don't know why I look a little red on camera but Let's get into this haul. I'm super excited to share with you guys what I got because this was the first time that I went to that store. And when I was like, I always use um, like the Maps app on my iPhone because I never remember how to get anywhere, especially when like I'm driving further away. So um, I actually, I accidentally selected the wrong Goodwill store. And the Goodwill that I was actually going to was like, 10 minutes away from it so it was like no biggie at all and I was super duper excited because I've never been to this store and I was like pleasantly surprised to say the least so I did find some really exciting stuff so here we are and I am ready to share with you guys the items that I found 
So the first item that I have here, let me start off with these because I have two of them. I got two of these um, My Other Bag bags and they are brand new still. They still have like the tags on them. Um, yeah. Oh, I was like reading what it said inside. It has like this thing inside there and it says... Zoe, designer handbag junkies, gone environmentally conscious, made in Los Angeles. So, super duper cute. I love the print. Obviously, it kind of looks like um, a Louis Vuitton. I want to say this. Oh, this actually looks like the Speedy, right? Yeah. They are both the Speedy style. And they are so, 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 so cute. And then it just has my other bag on the back. They're canvas. They're awesome. Still have tags. And this one was $7.99? I don't even notice that they were $7.99. So they were like a little bit pricey, but... So cute. Were they both $7.99? Yeah, they were both $7.99. Um, yeah, either way, they're both great. And so, 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 so cute. So these are going to go up in the shop. Um, so if you guys are interested in purchasing one, um, it's Adrian.com. If you feel so inclined to go visit and check it out. And then I have... Um, just like other bags, I just got really lucky at this store and they just had like a, a few pretty good um, handbags there. And the next one I have here is a Bakke. I love Bakke handbags so, so much. And this one is, it's like an off-white. And I want to say it almost has like kind of like a metallic-y kind of sheen built into the leather. And then it has black hardware, which I think is really, really chic. So, um, black hardware, and then it has this cool zipper that goes around the bottom, and I feel like it doesn't really expand too much, maybe like half an inch, but, um, it does have, like, the little zipper that goes around for expansion of the bag. It has a cool, like, um, almost like a wristlet thing right here, and you can actually remove the crossbody strap, so you could use this bag as a wristlet if you wanted. So you can use it like a clutch, which is really awesome. So there's like the versatility in that, and then the inside is just like this fun, a vibrant magenta, and there's a back pocket and then an open pocket right there. And this guy was fourteen ninety nine, and this is also a pocket. Look at that, gorgeous. So I was super excited. I don't really, I haven't really found too many Bakke bags. Um, Probably like less than 10, so I'm always excited to find them, and this one is a really good one. So then up next, we have this gorgeous lamb bag. Now, I'm always excited to find lamb because I feel like Gwen Stefani had a really great handbag line and I feel like a lot of people really, really did enjoy her bags and I was one of them. I loved her bags. But um, for whatever reason, her handbag line was discontinued. She's focusing on clothing and I believe shoes or just shoes. I know for sure she still has shoes. Um, but this bag is in such beautiful condition. The leather is stunning. It says lamb right there. And I wonder if this is actually lambskin. I wonder if it'll stay on the tag. Sometimes it says on the tag what kind of leather it is. Um, nope, it just says 100% leather. So, yeah. But this bag is in fantastic condition. And, like, I am honestly, like, when I saw it, I was, like, so, like excited because you never really see bags like in such great condition the only thing is there is a little tear well it's not really torn but um the lining of the pocket um kind of came off of the zipper but that's like a really easy fix so um i'll either zip it up or list it and like have it a little bit reduced and you can sew it up yourself if you're handy with a needle and thread you can do it even if you're not, you can just do it, and it's really easy. You just have to sew it back into the um, the lining of the zipper. And, yeah. So, really, 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 really cute bag. So, I'm super excited to have found it. Um, this guy was only $9.99. So, beautiful. I love all these pockets. They're, like, everywhere. And they're all, like, actual usable pockets, too. So, great little shoulder bag. Um... I also kind of like this detail on the side too, like I don't know why, but yeah, I know you wouldn't be able to really carry it like this, but I think it's just like so cool anyway. So, 
excited. Oh my gosh. I figured out what it's for. So this actually unhooks. And then you can actually bring up, yeah, you can bring it up and it becomes a crossbody bag. <gasps> How ingenious. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Okay, okay. Gwen Stefani, you did a good job designing this bag. So that's what that's for. That actually unsnaps. And then you just like bring it all the way up. And then you can actually extend your crossbody strap if you wanted. So that is a pretty cool little trick on there, I think. Does it actually? Oh, but there aren't any holes. Gwen Stefani, you bamboozled me. How does this thing work? I'm like trying to figure this out because this whole thing actually does like come apart. Maybe it's just, maybe it is purely just decorative. <laughs> I think I just bamboozled myself. I'm just like thinking too hard. Okay, well. If there are any handbag designers out there, that would be a cool design thing for this bag or for your handbag if you decided to do so. That would be really cool. So either way, you can at least expand it and like you can move the holes a couple so you can like add or subtract a couple inches um, from your shoulder strap. But I guess you can't really actually extend it to a crossbody, though that would have like actually been perfect and amazing but you know what if you really wanted to you can always just make some holes in here then you can so i guess it's not too bad um i actually have one of those little hole making things for leather so you can totally easily do that you can just get one of those things from like i got mine from daiso so it's like a dollar fifty um but yeah so super cool land bag in amazing condition Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love all the silver hardware and I love the strap, even if it only goes up and down a couple inches. But that's fine. <laughs> For $9.99, I'll take it. Alright, so then up next, this was actually, I think, my favorite find of the day. Um, the Michael Kors Hamilton bags are definitely really great. I think it's my favorite design style um, for the handbags from Michael Kors other than maybe like the Selma. I do love the Selma handbags. Um, but this one is awesome because it is the quilted version and I remember when these came out they were really really popular and this one is the silver that has like a gray but it has kind of like a silvery it has like a sheen to it which is really nice. Um, it has silver hardware and we have our strap. The leather is super soft, by the way. I love it. And then the interior is nice and clean. And this one was a little pricier at $30, but I think it was still a great deal. And it's in pretty good shape. I feel like it just needs a little bit of conditioning, just a little TLC, and then it'll be good to go. So again, this is going to be in the shop as well. And that rounds out um, our haul and video for the day. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and checking out this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. It helps exponentially. And if you um, would like to and haven't done so already, don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel so you guys will up be updated for new videos. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow for more content. I love you guys immensely and I'll see you then. Bye! Again, these glass pumpkins are everywhere now that I'm not looking for them. This is kind of cute. Threshold originally 20. Now it's ten dollars. That's really pretty. Looks like recycled glass. This kind of nice too. What is this thing right here? Oh, I think it's just like a regular blue. Yeah.